Hey guys, how's it going? It is a beautiful day today. It is so gorgeous. It's supposed to be like 77, which is a little warm for my liking, <laughs> but I gotta pull my tulips out today. So all of the ones in the front are totally done. The ones in the back are staying because they're not done yet and I probably have another week, maybe week and a half if I'm being lucky um, with those ones back there. And so the ones up front have to go. They look just awful. <laughs> it's not good. So I'm going to pull all of those today. And then um, you guys saw me make that mess in the backyard where I like made piles in the long skinny bed. And so I'm going to, I'm going to clean that out because that, that still has not been cleaned up because that's what I do. So let me turn the camera around, show you guys where these tulips are at. There is one variety that I accidentally planted in the wrong spot and that one is still doing really good. So that one's going to stay, but everything else is going to come out just so I can start prepping for um, annuals and things like that for this year because uh, I, I'm going to be very busy. So I need to get on it now because they're dying. So you can see, I mean, that's not beautiful. It's like, here we go. Oh, look, I think like a gopher got this one. Look at that. Oh yeah, somebody ate that. We're, we're dealing with this nonsense here. Somebody's coming through the lawn, eating the grubs. Uh, but all of these are dead. Those ones still look somewhat okay, but I think I'm just gonna pull them anyways. I might toss them in a vase. I mean, these will probably be done by tomorrow or something like that anyways. So they're just, they're not the best. Um, like this is just pathetically sad oh yeah it's done and then look at that <laughs> so these ones obviously all done like yeah no done 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 and then these ones right here these are the sauna mix which i actually just pulled some to bring inside and they're still looking really pretty so these ones are going to stay i'll probably have another you know couple days out of these but i just want to start getting everything else out of here and prepared i think i'm gonna I think I'm going to pull more of them and bring them inside. I don't know, we'll see. And this little patch looks the best out of the rest of it, but it's still, it's still fading quickly. So, I mean, it's done. So I'm gonna pull all of them. And then you can see we're in the front. These ones are also very done along with these guys over here. So I need to come pull all of these out. And the reason that I pull all of my tulips is because they don't come back for us reliably every single year. I might get like some foliar growth if I leave them. Oh, there's a bird. I might just get some foliar growth if I just leave them in the ground or I might get like very short blooms or maybe like some of them might bloom. It's just not reliable. So it's not worth it for me to keep them. So I just pull them out. Um, and then I actually am supposed to, you know, if you're keeping them in the ground, you're supposed to wait until the foliage completely dies back, which could be another month. And I just don't have time for that. So I'm just gonna get these all pulled because it's not worth waiting for them to all die, for them to come back spotty or to not even come back at all. I'll replant next year with brand new fresh bulbs. So let's get these out of the ground because they're starting to drive me a little bit mad. <laughs> Okay, I'm already hot. <laughs> it's supposed to be 77 degrees today um, and it's warming up. <laughs> I think it's probably close to like 65 today. And like, that's kind of my peak of temperature that I like. I really don't love anything above 70. 70 is like the max, absolute max that I enjoy being outside in the garden. And today's supposed to be 77. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to get the roses done. <clears throat> I had to get a drink. I swallowed a bug. Anyways, I already lost where I was. <laughs> Let's go get the rest of these pulled um, because uh, it's hot. <laughs> well, I now know why the ones in the bed right here with the forsythia didn't perform very well. Can you guys see this? Somebody came along and ate them. So that's why they died super fast and that's why I got very few blooms out of here. Somebody came along and decided to have themselves a little snack. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. 
quickly about tulip bulbs, the anatomy and how it works and what's happening underground. So I went and I planted one singular bulb from that bulb, this one stalk and one single flower came up. But what was happening underground the entire time was this bulb was dividing. So you can see all of these little sprouts right here. They'll push, you know, a single leaf or they may not, they may not push any. And from that one bulb right here, all of a sudden, another bulb is formed and another bulb is formed and another one it's basically like garlic is what's happening and another bulb and another bulb and a last bulb so from one bulb came one two three four five six bulbs from that um now i don't i don't winter them over i don't save them so all of this is going to just go in the trash these won't survive for me they they didn't put on all they didn't put on enough size for me to harvest them like i said i would have to wait for all the foliage to die back completely dead to the ground and then i could come in and dig them up and then i would have to find storage for the next year and um, i'm just not going to do that so i toss them i buy new ones but this is what happens in like the netherlands which is where basically every single tulip bulb comes from because they grow so well there and what happens is your tulip bulb comes up with one bulb and before they flower or once they start flowering um the company comes in and they come in and they basically have a machine that comes in and cuts the top off and so what that's doing is it's making it so that the plant forces all of its energy into producing big, huge bulbs instead of trying to produce a seed head right here. So um, all of the energy is spent from these leaves going down into the bulbs so it photosynthesizes and it'll give nice, big, huge bulbs over the growing season in Holland. Um, but I'm in California and we're too hot in the summer and we're not cold enough in the winter. So it, it just doesn't work here. So that's why I pulled them. But I just thought that that was kind of interesting because this one is the only one so far that I pulled up that has done a really good job and has produced a ton of different heads. Um, and then those companies in like the Netherlands or whatever, they will come in and they'll dig up those bulbs and that's how they turn one bulb into five bulbs and they'll sell, you know, four out of those bulbs. So that's just a little anatomy lesson. <laughs> That is incredibly weird. So this bed totally cleared out, ready for some more annuals to come in. And same on this side, all cleared out. Super weird. I need to come in and, you know, do some mulching and fix and stuff, but I wanna put in the new metal edging first. And then coming in here, this is also weird. No tulips over there. The forsythia are gonna come out the second they're done blooming. 
Uh, you can see my, my pile of fence boards as we're getting ready to do the fence. And then, ta-da! <laughs> this is so incredibly weird. I just, I don't know, I was so used to having all the green there. And all that's left is this one little patch of the sauna tulips. And honestly, uh, we'll see how much longer they last. You can see how open some of them are right now. This is probably their last day or two. But I'm going to leave them and enjoy them as long as possible. And that's going to make this fully ready for planting. And my plan this year is to do Super Tuna Vista Bubblegum in here. I did it one year and it was my favorite thing ever. And then I would like to do, you know, something that's a little bit taller in here. And then some type of spiller, either Creeping Jenny or Diaconda Silver Falls. We will see how that goes. And whatever I put in that will match what I do in those urns. It is currently 74 degrees out. I have a Pepsi. I haven't had a Pepsi in I don't even know how long. <sighs> but I'm not ready for this heat at all. Let me show you guys some of the tulips that I did harvest though. Oh, they're right there. These are so pretty. These are the sauna ones. You can see like this one is a like newer one. And like this is more aged. You can tell, you know, how pastel that is versus how bright that is. And then this vase is the one that's from Terrain. It is huge. I mean, the vase itself is massive. And then this is the basket that I just picked up. They're, they're gorgeous. The whole set goes together wonderfully. I would love to grab some of my books and have them be some like coffee table books with the coasters. And obviously we need a bigger coffee table now. <laughs> and now we're back. If you saw last week, I'd kind of cleaned this bed up a little bit. I think I'm going to finish cleaning it up and I'm going to you know, do my three piles, clean those up. And then I'm going to cut this back pretty hard. I'm going to cut it I'm gonna cut this back to behind the bricks. That way we can all flush out nice and fresh and look really clean. And I think if I have enough energy, cause this heat is killing me, um, that apple tree right there is not close enough to the fence. So I've got to move it forward just a smidge. Um, or I got to move it back technically a little bit. Like you can see, it's so like some of these are extremely close. <laughs> and I don't know what I did, but look at the gap on that one in comparison to that over there. So I gotta move that apple tree and I need to do it now because these have started to break dormancy. So I have to move this ASAP. So I think that's today's project or the last bit of today's project. cut the conifloa back that wasn't on my list of things to do and now i'm tripling tripling now i'm tripping over the panel that he's getting to me <laughs> um last thing i need to do is just cut that tr that creeping jenny back oh my gosh <laughs> last thing i'm gonna do is just cut that creeping jenny back i got everything all cleaned up and this wasn't on the list but it's been bothering me for about a week so but it was time to take care of it <laughs> Alright you guys, I'm gonna go inside, it's too hot. It's like 77 degrees at this point, uh, and I'm sweating. <laughs> this is not how spring is supposed to be, but it is. This is spring every single year in California, so live in the dream. <laughs> I'm gonna go inside, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I, I gotta clean up my mess. I'll see you in the next one, bye guys. Mm -hmm.